Courtside once again here at the PEC. Tom Barley joined by Ruff and Bell. And uh, we rarely get to have on-air conversations. So we're making a bit of history uh, with my dear friend. Let, let's do some history. We have some time before Coppin in North Carolina Central. L let's bring everybody up to speed on, first of all, how you found Coppin and a great relationship that you've started here with the Eagles. Well, for me, I was recruited to a to attend Coppin uh, for baseball. So that's my primary sport. And uh, Coach Jason Booker, who uh, was the head coach at the time and a Coppin Hall of Famer, uh, lured me over to Coppin State, and we had a great time. We ended up winning the 95 NEAC Baseball Championship, first in the school's history. And I've uh, been with Coppin ever since. Taught here, work here. <laughs> How easy was it to don that love affair with this school? Oh, from the opening tour. Uh, Miss Judith Moten was my admission tour guide. You know, from that point on, small campus. Uh, it was easy to get to know people. It was, it was just a perfect fit for me at the time. And baseball-wise, it was a program on the rise. So uh, it was a no-brainer for me. So let's transition from the student-athlete side to the, as I like to refer to it, the real-world side. <laughs> oh, well, you know, like everything, it's uh, you got to put your work in, you put your time in. And, you know, we've been growing the athletic department. Our kids are, the students here are, have done a great job academically our student athletes um, I, I know it's more than 50 percent of our student athletes had a 3.0 gpa or better from this past fall um, about 15 of the students had a 4.0 gpa so we have a lot of students here that are putting in the work and that's that's what it's all about it's getting the book knowledge getting the um, mentorship and getting experience so you can get that piece of paper so currently going on i've seen great news on track i've seen some significant news on bowling so kind of fill us in on what's going on other than basketball uh, track uh they just ran leave they were in boston just yesterday um i know the four by um is it four by 100s. The women finished second. I believe the men won uh, their relay. And Tatiana Okundu uh, is leading the women's team. And Joseph Omoa, uh, who's already qualified for Tokyo Olympics, uh, continues to blaze his own trail. So the track program under Coach Hicks uh, continues to grow. The ladies are stepping up. The men are are doing even better this season so they have high expectations um, bowling uh, they're knocking the pins down now before you get to bowling give yep. me one second that's the second Olympian actually well it's more than that isn't it yes because Christina Epps um, in the last five years second one in the last five years isn't it yes because Christina Epps participated in the Rio Olympics and um, Amoa's already qualified, and I want to say we have a, another graduate. I know his last name is Martin. Um, he's already qualified for uh, Tokyo as well. So we may have two athletes from Coppin in the Tokyo, I mean, yeah, Tokyo right. Olympics. And uh, Christina, I believe she tore her ACL while training, so she won't be participating. Um, last I heard but you know we have a great history um, now even though she's not competing will they still let her make the trip to accompany the team actually I, I'm not aware of that one so but uh, she works very hard and um, she her story is a great story I mean she went to Olympics she had a child I mean she's working in collegiate athletics I mean she's doing an outstanding job for her herself so it's great to see fellow cop and alums you know doing their thing so set them up and knock them down when it comes to bowling 
Uh, bowling, what I want to say last week they defeated um, whoever was ranked 24th uh, in the country in bowling. So Coach Middleton has her team um, geared up. I know next week they play against uh, Morgan. So it's a in-state matchup. And uh, we're looking for a lot of people to come out and support our bowling team. Before we get into some other off-the-floor questions I have for you, my friend, you have the defending conference champions in the house today. Uh, that's also the team that Coppin took down the wire or to the wire last year at Norfolk State as the host institution in the MEAC down in Norfolk, Virginia in the quarterfinals of the MEAC tournament after Coppin got that upset win in the opening round over Morgan, right? Right. So now you've got the defending conference champions coming into today. Currently 6-2 and two in the conference. Coppin is 3-6. and six. Could easily flip that around and be 6-3 and three or better. What's your expectation of this game today? I know it's going to be a tight contest. And honestly, if our guys are are clicking on all cylinders and you can call me a homer as much as you want but uh, our guys should be able to take it to central i mean it's, it's going to be a very good game um i think it's going to come down to free throws just like any good game normally does here's an interesting little note in this matchup because Lavelle Moten, this past off season, East Carolina, who Coppin beat earlier this year, this season, 85-75 in Greenville, commonly referred to as G Vegas for those of us that are familiar, right? Um, Lavelle Moten had his tires kicked, if you will, by East Carolina, maybe taking their head coaching job, then removed himself from that consideration to stay at Central. And on the roster, they've got Justin Watley, who was at East Carolina. <laughs> Interesting little tidbit there is a uh, red shirt on this roster as a red shirt sophomore. <laughs> he must have been impressed with something. I mean, but, uh, you know, it's... Well, Central. you mentioned the connection you have with Coppin. Coach Moten has the same connection with Central. Yeah, it's, you know, anytime you can coach or work uh, at your alma mater, um, you know, it's a, it's a different love affair. It's a different of affinity. You know, you know the ins and outs, how to get things done on your campus. Uh, it's it's just different, you know, from being an outsider than having to learn than already being here and just knowing the culture of the community. And as you mentioned. Ruffin, I, I think Coach Moten really can punch his ticket to anywhere he wants to go with the success that he's had in North Carolina Central. He's looking for that right opportunity. And for right now, and to his credit, and the viral video that went with his young man, again, seeing it, he was talking about senior day, He was the, the young man was so emotional thinking he was never going to see those guys again. No, 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 it's just seniors. They're... They'll be around, but they're graduating out. I just thought that was a very nice moment, especially not for just his family, but also for this league as well, that it, that it is such a great league. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's built a great program. And, you know, for us over here, you know, you're going back to the Coach Mitchell era and the awesome success that he had here. And, you know, I'm sure Coach Fang had a number of opportunities and he opted to stay at Coppin and he put Coppin State uh, basketball and athletics on the map and you know those those types of coaches are rare and you know they can hopefully they'll stick around at their institutions and become legends like Coach Mitchell. So now you've got a guy in Juan Dixon third year at the helm here at Coppin State having a turnaround season, if you will, 7-17, and 17, having some non-conference success for the first time in his tenure here, still as a young head coach at the men's Division I level, but he's beginning to get his feet under him as you as you describe that, and he's also been to the top of the mountain and national championship in his own right at Maryland. You know, you look at the, the guys that uh, 
Coach Dixon has brought in each year the quality, uh, the skill level of our athletes keep go keeps going up. And, you know, like you said, it's turned into the non-conference success that we had at the beginning of the season. And we're, we're just about there, you know. We've played a lot of tight games, uh, a lot of games that easily could have gone our way. Um, and coach gets them prepared. You know, I can guarantee you he, he wants Coppin, he wants our guys to have the experience that he enjoyed. So they're going to stay on the grind. Take a quick time out, come back with more with Ruff and Bell here as we count down toward tip off. Getting set for Coppin and North Carolina Central here on the Coppin State Sports Network. Back courts out of the PEC, Todd Barley joined by Ruffin Bell. So Ruffin, a couple of years back, we're gonna give everybody a little quick two minute history lesson. There is a men's basketball game 
played against uh, Chestnut Hill, I believe, out of the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area. And I happened to be filling in for the Chestnut Hill broadcaster, came in, saw the PEC for the first time, and just fell in love with the place. And the next thing you know, we're doing games. There you go. You know, that's a beautiful facility. Uh, you wouldn't know it's 10 years old. It still looks brand new. But uh, this was a big portion of adding radio. It was one of the big plans that we've had. And started with basketball. We've expanded to volleyball and uh, baseball. And hopefully we'll get in some softball as well. Yeah, now what's interesting about the softball conflict complex that's right out the door here behind us is it just keeps getting better and better. Yeah, they just added a uh, new sod uh, to the portion of the outfield, and the softball season actually starts in two weeks. We uh, have Coach Ashley Cook who's in her first year at the helm, and uh, we're very excited uh, about the upcoming season for the young ladies. Uh, she is very uh, motivated to get things going. They also have a bull and shrimp feast coming up, so expect to see you there. You know, get your grub on March 7th. I knew you were going <laughs> to say that. I just, I, yesterday I had a prior commitment that I confirmed, and I looked at the promo card again, and I went, darn it, the dates have matched up again. So, here's the good news. The day after that is the travel day to get to Norfolk for the MEAC basketball tournament. Can I get a to-go order? Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. You know, so she's got a lot of great things going. Re, re engaging the uh, softball alumni. Uh, so we're looking forward to uh, their bull and shrimp feast. And, you know, our coaches are very active. So even tennis has a... A tennis alumni game coming up right before homecoming on the February 21st, Friday, February 21st. Ruff, and as many a person that, as you have known me for many, many years, will, will attest, it, you don't have to ask me twice for shrimp. Hey, you know, get some Old Bay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You never have to ask me twice that or crab cakes. It's never. Yes, sir. Please, some more. Yes. Hey. You, you hang out with me, you'll, you'll know what a real crab cake is. <laughs> now, you mentioned spring sports and baseball. If they didn't have a chip on their shoulder going into the season, reloading, boy, did the preseason poll give it to them. They it favored the South. And honestly, I'm, I'm a firm believer in be the underdog. You know, you have your expectations. You know what your team can do. You just got to go out and prove it. You know, um, Coach Reed has brought in a ton of guys. We look very, very good. Um, and their season starts next Friday. They will be down at the Citadel. Um, I believe that's February 14th. They have a three-game series Friday, Saturday, and Sunday down at the Citadel to start off the season. And... Um, from Aaron Gray to uh, Justin Banks. They all have something to prove, uh, not only to the conference, but to themselves, that they can get it done. So uh, it, it should be an exciting season uh, for our baseball program. You mentioned Banks, preseason player of the year on. You know, he knows everyone's going to be pitching around them, gunning. They uh, have a full year of charts on them, that, on them now. But when you're big time, it doesn't matter. You know, you make the, your adjustments, they're going to make their adjustments. He is a pure hitter, great fielder, smart kid, and an even better young man. So he's a complete package. So... We're all holding out our hopes for him, for his post copping career. So let me ask you a conference question because now everybody's talking about it. It's North Carolina Central's neighbor in A&T. They announced earlier this week that they're leaving just as Hampton did for the Big South. 
Where does that leave the MEAC going forward? Because I've read online where the MEAC, as every conference in, in collegiate athletics does, they're actively seeking members on a consistent basis. And this, uh, this was not a surprise, I'm pretty sure, to the MEAC leadership. So, I'm, uh, you know, for a &T, they felt like this was a move that they needed to make. Um, but for MEAC sports overall, I truly believe the the commissioner and the ADs, uh, they probably already have schools that are uh, potential candidates already. So, you know, you hate to see them leave. Hopefully we'll get some quote-unquote non-conference matchups with uh, A&T uh, to keep those rivalries going, you know. But um, you, you just keep rolling on. I mean, just, that's really what it is. You know, a t was a founding member of the conference, and uh, it Coppin, to get Coppin on the map back when the MEAC started, Coppin had to go through a t So the 1976 championship team that we're honoring for homecoming and for the Hall of Fame, you know, they had to go through a t So the history is there, and... You know, the conference will just, you know, keep moving on. So we'll see who gets invited to become a MEAC member. How soon do you think that invitation would come, knowing that a t has said it's the 2021 academic year is their last in the MEAC? Honestly, it, it would really come down to who the potential candidates are and where, where they are in their process, you know. Uh, whether it's a CIAA member, another a school that's not in the CIAA, who, who knows? Um, if it's a non-football school or a football school, there's, there's so many factors that come into play uh, along with how the conference will realign depending on location of that particular member. So, you know, we just got to trust in uh, the conference and our leadership. And like I said, we keep playing. Appreciate the time, brother. And you're more than welcome to stay. If you want to be the analyst in game two tonight, <laughs> I'm all in. Hey, you know me. I got, got to keep running. It's rough and Bell, everybody. Appreciate everything he does for Compass State and also everything you've done to allow me to be a part of this great family. Cool. Send it back to Studio Control on TV and radio. Step out, and then we come back. Gary Williams will bring you, in 30 seconds, the starting lineups and opening tip between Coppin and North Carolina Central on the Coppin State Sports Network.
Back courts out of the PEC. Gary Williams just informed you. Perkins, Palmer, Fennell, Blunt, and Watley. How about Mel Blunt's son? Jabri Blunt getting a start for Central in the road. Dark uniforms. Top on the home whites. Clayton, Williams, Thomas, Andrew Robinson, and Brendan Medley-Bacon. I tried to convince Aaron Robinson to stay for the nightcap. He said, I'd love to, Todd, but got to be with my team. Medley Bacon in the jump circle. He'll go with Watley to get us going. Opening tip controlled by Coppin. Clayton moving right to left through the logo. Now to the jump circle. Pick and roll to Medley Bacon. Right corner, Ibn Williams for three, and it's good. Topping up 3-0 on the defending conference champions. Perkins with it, now hit of the key. And answer three is on the way, halfway down and out for Blunt. Gets the rebound back. Now head of the key. Blunt on the bounce, defended by Thomas, and a moving screen call against Justin Watley. His first. Williams on the inbound. Now for Clayton. Back to Ibn in the backcourt. Now to the forecourt, right side now to Clayton. Back to Williams. Williams going right in the Medley Bacon screen. Now for Medley Bacon, ball screen handoff. Back to Ibn, head of the key, 10 to shoot. Turns left, got some space, bounce it off weak side of the right to Thomas. Glass and good. Kobe Thomas puts Coppin in front. Not by the score of 4 nothing according to the scoreboard. Right side hesitation now for Perkins. Head of the key, Blunt runs it left of the lane. Right hand, rim and good. Thomas now for Williams. Right to left of the forecourt. Far side of the right, Thomas trying to take off right of the lane. Bounce it out, weak side of the right, intended for Andrew Robinson. It came up empty. Perkins down to the forecourt in between the rings. Top side left to Blunt, now head of the key to Watley. Now to catch Palmer, back to Watley, back to Palmer. Palmer turning left of the lane, shovels it into the lane, intended for Blunt, comes near side of the right for Perkins. Back in the lane to Blunt, and he dunks it with two hands. Bounce ahead now to Clayton. And the attempt by Thomas was blocked away. Here comes Perkins the other way for Central. Feeds it near side of the right to Blunt. Fights it up. Glass and good. Now Central's got their first lead. That's 6-4. Thomas has it, head of the key. Ibn Williams, top side of the right to Thomas. He wants a three, rim it off, weak side rebound. Comes down to Palmer. And losing the ball out of bounds is Perkins. Gear ring replaces Kobe Thomas in the Coppin lineup. David Williams' first field goal, by the way, changed from a three to a two.
Williams on the kick out. Robinson wants a three out of the left corner, high off the right rim. And a rebound comes down to Watley. Now to Perkins. Skip right to Palmer. Palmer with it. Back head of the key. Blunt wants a three, and it's good. Nine four Central. Williams now to Clayton. Top side left. Coming left to the ring screen. Draws a double team. Got caught in midair. Ring on the catch left of the lane. Runs into traffic. And I believe he traveled. He did. Comes at 16-11 to go. Opening half and a 9-4 North Carolina Central lead. Bounce high right to Blunt. Now to Watley. Feeds it back door and a 10 foot floater rimming off. Out of the hand of Palmer. Medley making the rebound now for Clayton. Right side behind the arc. Right corner now for Robinson. Bounce it back to Medley Bacon. Back to Robinson. A three in front of Coach Moten and the Eagles bench. Makes it a 9 7 central lead. 15 and a half remaining, opening half. High right lob. Now for Blunt. Wadley with it. Now far side left, running into the lane. Medley Bacon got a piece of the attempt by Fennell. Clayton out of Williams. Williams on the bounce, line to the lane. Left hand runner can't get it to drop. Medley Bacon went up and tried to. Ram at home and got knocked off his pins. 15.03 to go opening half. Time out on the floor with North Carolina Central in front of Coppa. 9-7 on the Coppa State Sports Network. Welcome in all the fans on Flow Hoops today in the MEAC Digital Network. 9-7, North Carolina Central leading Coppin. 15-03 to go. Moments ago, we heard it from either the DJ or the in-house public address system. Our technical director's favorite song, Baby Shark. Off the inbound for Central. Here comes Perkins. Perkins on the bounce high left. Now to Watley, a step in three, head of the key. That's good. Twelve seven, North Carolina Central. Now to Williams. In the double team, he'll split it with a bounce. Now for Clayton, top side left. Top of the double team, down to Medley Bacon, down to Williams, right corner, a three ball on the way, and it's good. Andrew Robinson now with his second three, give him six. And it's a 12-10 North Carolina Central lead. Far side left. Blunt had it, gave it up near side right to Perkins. Perkins on the bounce down to the doorstep to Blunt coming to his left. Spins right, ducks left, no look feed to the doorstep. Watley scores. Give him five, and the margin is four at 14 10. Clayton for Williams. Now to the floor court. Ring sets the screen. Williams goes right of it, and it's a moving screen. Gear never set his feet. Inbound comes to Perkins. 
Now Blunt wants a three head of the key, rim it off. Offensive rebound to Perkins. Back head of the key, Blunt to the free throw line, picked up the bounce. Right corner kick to Fennell, and I believe his heel was on the sideline. It was. Jabri Blunt is the transfer out of Cleveland State. Here comes Ibn Williams. On the bounce down to Clayton. Now for Williams. Thomas, right of the lane now for Medley Bacon. Ball screen handoff to Ibn Williams. Steps inside the free throw line, drains it again. Ibn's got an early four, make it a 14-12 North Carolina Central lead. Perkins with it between the rings. Now for Blunt. Near side right. Give it up to Fennell. Right corner kick. Now for Ty Graves. He wants a three and it's good. 17 to 12. Central with the lead. Clayton now for Williams. Now for Medley Bacon. On the handoff down to Thomas. Thomas going left in the lane. Floats up with the right hand and scores. Kobe Thomas now with four, 17-14. Toppin trails by three, closing in on 12-15 to go opening half. Blunt on the bounce, spins left to right, back of the rim. No, Medley Bacon might have got a piece of it. Here comes Thomas on the run back. Slows down at the time stripe and finds Williams to his right. Even on the bounce, now backs it out. Takes it right of the lane, backs it out again. Hesitation dribble right of the lane, bounce it off for Medley Bacon. Blunt trying to pick it off. Clayton kicks it down the floor, and I believe it's going to stay with North Carolina Central. And that should bring us to a timeout on the floor. It's last touch by Central. Clayton was looking to inbound the basketball. We'll sort it out on the other side of the timeout. 11.51 to go first half. It's now North Carolina Central 17, comp at 14. Back after this time out of the Common State Sports Network. Humble beginnings. Back on the MEAC Digital Network, and I got a look at it previously, and I believe it was last touched by North Carolina Central. Coach Dixon was pointing in our direction because we have the video replay. I, I wanted to say back to Coach Dixon, I didn't do it. So it's a baseline inbound for North Carolina Central. Evan Claiborne has entered for the first time for Central, as has Mike Melvin. Bounce it in the lane for Claiborne, blocked away by Medley Bacon. Clayton runs it near side left. Evan Williams, a step in three, good. Oh, leaving at 17. Reggie James has also checked in for Coppin. To the floor went Blunt. He got tied up. Thomas jars it free. Up the right side now to James. Top side left to Clayton. Going baseline left. Got cut off. Bounce it back to Williams. Hesitation dribble. Gallops in the lane. Swings it back. Top side left to Clayton. Now to Medley Bacon, hands it back to Clayton. Step right three on the way, rim, and it rattles home. Dewan Clayton puts Coppin back on top. 2017, timeout, North Carolina Central. It's a 30-second timeout on the MEAC Digital Network.
Here's a great look at the extra pass, finding Dewan Clayton for that three ball. Coach Moten immediately took a timeout. Confident in the midst of an 8-0 run, having trailed 17-12. They now lead 2017. Far side left, Melvin's got it. Got cut off. Hands it off to Blunt. The power bounce in the lane. Zipped it to his left to Watley. Steps into Thomas. Thomas with a block. Here comes Williams. Now for Clayton. Clayton going left of the lane. Kicked it out left corner to James. Juan Dixon says, back it out. James, far side of the right now to Williams. Right corner, Thomas. Now for Medley Bacon. Back to Thomas. He's got a three in his mind. Rimming off Medley Bacon up the ladder for the rebound. Got undercut. And the baseline official with the whistle and the call. Melvin with the foul. That's his first. Oh, well, yeah, Melvin just stepped to his right. Just a tad trying to box out Medley Bacon. And they both got to that same spot. At the same time, Perkins checks back in. Melvin will check out. Clayton on the lob. Medley Bacon on the catch. Trying to zip it back. He did. Thomas went up to ram it home, and he got fouled by Blunt. His first, third on Central as a team. Kobe Thomas now steps in, line left. First one's good. Nine-nothing, Coppin response. Dewan Clayton getting a breather. Andrew Robinson back on the floor for the Eagles. Kobe goes rim and off. So it's a 9 nothing run, 21-17 Coppin. Top side left out of Graves. Now to Watley. At the elbow, kicks it out to the corner. Now for Perkins. James wants the ball now as Coppin runs it back right to left. Williams wants a three, right of the rim, no good. Weak side rebound to Graves. Now for Perkins, runs it right of the lane for Blunt, and James got bumped off. I believe they assessed that foul on Blunt. It would be his second, if that is indeed the call. Graves checks out. Williams coming right to left. Now to Thomas, now to James. Right side, Williams going around the Medley Bacon screen, and Medley Bacon called the moving screen. That's his first. Indeed, Blunt did pick up his second foul. Melvin back in. He'll march it left to right. Now to the jump circle. Under nine and a half to go. First half. 21-17. Coppin with the lead. Turning right. Getting right to the glass. Medley Bacon with an emphatic block on the Palmer attempt. Thomas runs it right of the lane. Lost the handle. Picked up by Watley. Looking for an outlet. Bounce it off now for Palmer. Up the left side. Melvin. Head of the key now for Fennell. Right side to Palmer. Back head of the key now to Watley. Post entry feed to Blunt in the double team. Now for Fennell, 13 to shoot. Kick out right side. Palmer wants a three. Good. Three 21-20 Coppin. 8.44 to go. Opening half. Williams down to Thomas. Top side left to James. Back to Williams. Even on the bounce, going right of the Medley Bacon screen, right of the lane, bounce it off, weak side block to Thomas, left corner kick to James, going baseline left, swing it back to Robinson, a deep three, right side, back of the rim, no. 
The long rebound to Williams, top side left. Head of the key now for James, runs it right of the lane. Bounce it off to the doorstep, Robinson, bounce it back to Williams. Top side left, three is on the way. Rim halfway down, it lipped out. Blunt now for Melvin. Melvin between the rings, closing in at eight minutes to go. Melvin on the bounce, nearly turned it over. 15 to shoot. Far side left corner, Watley wants an answer. Three, back of the rim, no. Thomas over everybody for the rebound. Now to Williams into the forecourt. Right side of the Medley Bacon screen. Now to Medley Bacon right elbow. Puts it on the floor. Two dribbles to his left. Right hand hook with a turnaround. And it goes rimming off. Palmer now for Melvin. Quickly the other way. Back to Palmer. A step in three off the left wing. Good. Palmer with the last six. Makes it 23-21 North Carolina Central. 7.20 to go in the half. Williams top side of the right to Robinson. Now to Williams. A deep three from between the rings. Rimming off Medley Bacon. The rebound. And it got knocked away by Palmer. Here comes Melvin quickly into the forecourt. On the bounce. Spinning back to his left around the screen from Watley. He dipped his elbow. That was enough to pick up the second personal foul. It brings us to the under eight media timeout. 6.59 to go first half. It's down North Carolina Second Central personal. 23, Fourth Coppin foul 21. Official. We're back after this 60-second timeout. timeout Ebony on the Prescott. MIA Digital Network. Ebony Prescott, please report to the first-year challenge table on the... The Mayor Institution. Six fifty-nine to go in the opening half. We've now had our third lead change of the opening half at 23-21 on Palmer's back-to-back -back threes. After Coppin made a 9-0 run, Central is answered with a 6-0 response. It's a lead by two. James to inbound. Blunt and Robinson getting together with one of the officials, making sure everyone keeps their hands to themselves. Inbound to James. Up the right side now to Clayton between the rings. With Coppin down by two, 6.45 to go in the half. Medley Bacon sets the screen again, head of the key. Dewan with 10 to shoot, goes right of the screen. Now for James, ducked under one defender, tried to fight it up, and I believe he traveled, he did. Obi Ayate has checked in for the first time for North Carolina Central. Palmer with a step right jumper, rimming off to Medley Bacon. Now for Clayton. Top side left Robinson going around the Thomas screen. Bounce it back to Thomas, stolen away. Here comes Melvin going strong on Clayton. Rimming off, Medley Bacon the rebound. Now for Clayton. Boy, Melvin had a head start too going to the rack. Came up empty. Clayton out of the four court, 5.52 and counting in the opening half. Clayton stepped into a double team, nearly lost the handle. Got it back with 13 to shoot. Lob at the rim, Thomas will float it home. Thomas now with seven. All leaving at 23. Melvin out of the jump circle. As North Carolina Central spreads the floor, he goes left of the Watley screen. Watley on the catch. Now back far side left. Melvin deflected away. Robinson on the run back got bumped off. Fennell, the Bowie Maryland product with his first. Sixth on Central as a team in the opening half. Ibn Williams on the inbound now for Clayton. 5.15 to go in the half, all leaving to 23. Clayton with a step in, three up the right side, front of the rim, no, to Melvin. 
Melvin on the run back. Top side right, Palmer wants another three. Good again. Devin Palmer now with nine, makes it 26-23, North Carolina Central. Williams now to Clayton. Back into the key to Ibn Williams, turning right of the lane. Got caught, picking up the bounce. Now to Thomas, thought about a three. Gallops right of the lane, floats it up, glass and good. How that's not a travel, I don't know, but we'll take the two points. 26-25, North Carolina Central. Melvin on the bounce. Far side left. Palmer's got it. Steps inside the arc that time. Rim it off. Volleyball tapped out by Kobe Thomas. They'll reset it with Watley. Gave it up to Melvin. 15 to shoot. Melvin on the bounce. Steps right at Medley Bacon. Bounce it weak side of the right to Fennell. Five to shoot with a fadeaway off the right corner. Rim it off. Rebound Robinson. Quick outlet now for Williams. Closing in on four minutes to go. Top side left, Robinson wants a three, rimming off. Weak side rebound to Palmer. Now for Melvin. Melvin top side left. Kick out left corner. Going strong to the rack. Robinson got the block on Fennell's attempt. Fennell got it back, fights it up, blocked again by Medley Bacon out of bounds. 15 to shoot when we come back. 3.41 to go opening half. It's now North Carolina Central 26, Coppa 25 on the MIAC Digital Network. Believe in something, even if it means sacrifice. 3.41 to go in the opening half. Uh, we got to look at it during the timeout, and there is no question. Kobe Thomas got away with three extra steps. <laughs> going to the basket my goodness he sold it well lob comes in and a backdoor feed to Palmer he knows what to do glass and good give him 11 in the opening half 28 25 North Carolina Central and on the inbound a near takeaway and it's Fennell with his second as he and Clayton got tangled up Seventh team foul on Central. So Clayton stepping in, line left. First attempt in the one and bonus is on the way and good. 28 26 Central with 3.32 to go in the half. Second attempt, got them both. Clayton now with five. Copping down one at 28 27. Ball screen hand off to Palmer. Left of the jump circle. Now for Graves, hands it off to Watley. Around the horn it goes, far side left. Palmer wants another three, good again. Palmer's got 14. 31-27, North Carolina Central. Ibn Williams into a double team. Now for Clayton, still in the backcourt. Back to Williams, now to the time stripe and a 10-second call. Williams was half a step in the backcourt when the shot clock hit 20. Central will give you all the lateral movement in their press that you want. They want no vertical movement. Far side left. Ayate's got it. Now hands it off to his left. Cut off is Perkins. On the bounce, pulling up. Left elbow is Graves, blocked by Medley Bacon. He throws it behind Robinson now for Clayton. Under two and a half to go. 
in this first half. Right side, Robinson, a step in three, rim, no, Medley Bacon goes up, grabs the rim with his right hand. And came up empty. Now for Perkins. Head of the key, Watley. Now for Perkins. Perkins to the free throw line. Reverse it off right side. A three ball goes across the iron. No good for Ayate. And I believe Coppin lost it out of bounds. Trying to get transition going with 2.02 to go in the half. Right corner, Graves, mulling over a three, puts it on the iron, no good. Medley Bacon the rebound, less than two to go in the half. Central up 31-27. They've been Williams now between the rings. Dribbles far side of the right. Now to Thomas. Gallops to the lane again, glass and good. Kobe's got 11. That's the margin at 31-29. Hesitation dribble for Perkins. Got to the glass and scores. Four-point central lead at 33-29. Closing in on a minute to go. First half. Clayton going right to the Thomas screen. To Medley Bacon, skips it, top side left out of Ibn Williams, back to Thomas, lost it on the way up, caught by Clayton, and he goes out of bounds. Seconds and rolling, about a 20 second gap game and shot clock. Perkins with it, top side of the right. Perkins a step in three, left of the rim and off to the corner it goes, saved in by Thomas. Tenths of a second difference between the game and the shot clock. Williams now for Clayton in the jump circle. 17 to shoot. Hopping down four, closing seconds of the opening half. 33-29, North Carolina Central. Nine to shoot. Here comes Clayton, left of the medley vacant screen. Euro step in the lane, got hit on the way up. I believe it's Palmer. Make it Watley with his third. That brings Claiborne to the scorer's table. Eight team foul for North Carolina Central. Clayton knocks down the free throw, makes it 33-30. Perkins checks out, Melvin's back in. Coppin's already back in the defensive end of the floor with 5.4 to go in the half. Clayton's second attempt, good. DeWan now with seven, 33-31, North Carolina Central. Ball rolls into a three-quarter court. Here comes Melvin to the floor court, trying to clear off Clayton, head of the key. Launches with two. It's blocked away by Thomas. At the end of the first half, North Carolina Central leads Coppin State 33-31. And this normally means a visit from Charles Agamagu. Court side at the break. Coppin's largest run of the half was 9-0 to build their margin to 21-17. Then that 6-0 answer by Central to give them a 23-21 lead. And at the break, it currently stands 33-31 North Carolina Central.
Charles Agamagu now courtside. Very competitive and highly contested first half, 33-31 Central. Absolutely. Uh, you know, we knew they were going to come in with a lot of fervor, a lot of firepower. Three times the defending champs, you expect that, right? I'm incredibly proud of our guys because we matched their intensity. Um, even more so proud of Medley Bacon, right? Not very much offensively, right? But those defensive blocks, those rebounds, he's in the most literal sense being an anchor down there, and he's awesome for us. Palmer so, has gone off for four threes in the opening half. Yeah, man, we, uh, I think the adjustment clearly by the blind man can see we got to run him off the line. Right? Make him beat us, hit in the pocket or make an opposite play, but definitely no more catch and shoot. Limit his catch and shoot opportunities. I think if you cut three of those five, right, I think we're in a good place. But, you know, you hold NC Central to, what, 33 points? And they, I think they had 20, might be the first eight minutes. I think we're in a good spot. Are you surprised at all that Wadley's picked up as many early fouls as he has? Um, no, simply because they're an aggressive team. Uh, they're super aggressive, man. They deny the passing lane like Carolina does. Um, you know, and they're taught well. So you be physical until the ref tell you to stop, right? So, you know, not at all. We look at Ibn Williams now becoming a regular starter with the injury to Robinson, and he is stepping up huge. Yeah, Ibn Williams is our version of uh, Fred Van Vliet. Right? He's a superstar in the making. Um, and the one thing I'm really proud of Evan Williams is he stuck with the process. As a freshman, played very limited minutes, right? But didn't pout, didn't complain, didn't ask to transfer, ask for a meeting, right? Was consistent. Um, and now he's taking care of his opportunities now as a sophomore. So I'm probably proud of Evan. I think he's a budding star. I think he's a budding star. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did, did you see Evan hit his first shot as a three or a two? I thought it was a three. So did I. I thought it was a three, but you, it is what it is, man. The fish do a great job just hearing the meow. Key to the second half. Hey, <laughs> keep up the intensity. Keep guarding. Let me catch the shoot for Appreciate you. I appreciate you talking. There it is, you. Charles Agamagu, folks, at the break. 33-31. North Carolina Central in front of Coppin on the MIAC Digital Network. Now, ladies and gentlemen, coming to half court.
at the half of North Carolina Central with a 33-31 lead here at the PEC. Central 13 of 33 from the field. 39.4% from the floor, 7 of 15 from three. And they have yet to attempt a free throw for Coppin. 11 of 24 for 45.8%. 414 from three, that's 28.6%. 5 of 6 to the line, 83.3%. Rebound margin to Coppin, plus two. Coppin, however, losing the turnover battle, minus five at 11 6. Points in the paint all even at 10. Points up turnovers even at 5. Fast break points, 3 0 Coppin State. Score has been tied three times, including the opening tip, and the score has changed hands three times. 9 0 Coppin answer to take a 21 17 lead, then six unanswered by Central. Made it 23-21, and Central has yet to relinquish the lead. They lead 33-31 at the break. We'll take a timeout here on the MEAC Digital Network, except for the second half after this. Don't get to stay social with your favorite conference. Search MEAC Sports on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for day-to-day -day updates on everything MEAC. Also use the hashtags IBackToMEAC and MEAC Nation to see your post reposted. Listen to Coppin State basketball home games on Fox Sports, Williamsport, and Baltimore's WNST, 1570 AM, proud partners of Coppin State Athletics. Easy, convenient access to great care with online check-ins, urgent care, and video visits. Use the best of our minds, best of our hearts to serve our patients. Over 300 locations total, 10 hospitals. MedStar, the official medical provider for CSU Athletics. Hey, MEAC fans, take a hot route by getting a car insurance quote at Geico.com. Find out how much you can save. Geico, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on car insurance. Back at the PEC individually for Coppin. James and Ring saw time off the bench, didn't tally. Medley Bacon's been held scoreless as a starter. Robinson with six with two threes. Williams and Clayton each with seven. Kobe Thomas, a team high of 11. Four Central up their bench. Ayate, Melvin, Claiborne saw time, didn't tally. Graves with a three. Fennell as the starter has been held scoreless. Then it's Perkins with two. Watley with five. He's got three early fouls to my count. And then Blunt with nine. Palmer with a game high of 14. Just to double check, the official box score has Watley with two personal fouls. So 33-31, North Carolina Central with the lead as we get set to start the second half. Next up for Central, they'll be at Morgan on Monday. And then a week from Monday, they'll go to North Carolina A&T for a 7 o'clock tip on the men's side. Coppin hosts Maryland Eastern Shore on Monday. At 
Fennell set to inbound. Now for Perkins. Perkins into the forecourt. Top side of the right. Watley on the catch. Back to Fennell, head of the key. Now for Blunt. Right side Palmer. Williams knocked it free and stole it. Ibbett on the run back. Top side left. Now to Clayton, head of the key. Dewan holding now with 18 to shoot. Hopping down by two. They can tie with a two, take the lead with a three. Medley Baker on the catch. Turning left on Watley, coming back to his right. In the lane, waving off. Three second call. Well, he had the basement poured and the first floor trusses going in. Keeps it 33 31 as each team goes empty on their first possession of the second half. Blunt the hand off now to Watley. Watley with it. On the bounce, hands it back to Perkins, going left. Reverse it off to Blunt, head of the key, a step in three is good. Blunt's second three give him 12 points in the game. The margin is now five at 36-31. Williams in between the rings. Your side right to Clayton. Clayton on the bounce. Now for Thomas, head of the key. Thomas to the free throw line, runs it left and turned it over. Blunt on the run back on Robinson. Goes up with the right hand, left it short. Tip follow for Fennell is good, and all five North Carolina Central starters have now scored. Coppin now trails by seven. 90 seconds gone in the second half. Williams high left around the Robinson screen. Picks up the bounce, looking. Left side out of Medley Bacon. Steps in for 15, missed everything. Palmer now to Perkins. Kick out left side. Fennell thought about a three. Finds Perkins cutting left of the lane. He tear drops it home. Perkins now with four. 40-31. Central. Thomas. Kick out to the corner. Robinson wants a three. It's good. Andrew Robinson now with nine. And Juan Dixon takes an immediate timeout. 40-34 North Carolina Central. It extends to a 60-second timeout here on the MEAC Digital Network. We are a first choice premier institution. Out of the comp and timeout, 40 34, North Carolina Central. Just prior to the Andrew Robinson three. A 7 0 North Carolina Central run to make it 40 31. Perkins on the catch of the inbound after a bounce. Now head of the key, goes left of the Watley screen. Now for Perkins. Perkins, a step-in jumper from the head of the key, rim it off. Weak side rebound to Blunt. He'll score with the right hand. He's got 14. Makes it 42-34. Thomas on the kick out right corner. Robinson for three off the side of the glass. No good. He ends up on the floor. Here comes Perkins on the run back. Hands it off to a trailing Watley. He traveled. He literally tried to step into the three. Eight-point lead for North Carolina Central. Evan Williams from the central bench looking to inbound. Looking. Gets it in for Thomas. Deflected by Palmer and stolen. And he stepped along the... Baseline out of bounds. Inbound to Clayton. He draws the double team. Now for Williams. Right from the broadcast location. Now ahead to Thomas. Bounce it off weak side to the right. Medley Bacon on the doorstep. He'll score. Coppin now has all five starters. 
on the board, trailing 42-36. Just over three minutes into the second half. Perkins, reverse it off. Now for Blunt. On the kick out, right to left comes Fennell to the doorstep. Medley Bacon got a piece of it. Enough for Thomas to wrench the rebound away. Now for Williams. Deep three, left side, hard off the back iron, no good. Rebound Watley now for Perkins. Perkins, near side left. Not a Palmer, between the rings, Perkins. On the bounce, coming to his left, 15 to shoot. Right side, Blunt wants another three. It's on the way back of the rim. Too strong. Robinson the rebound, looking for an outlet. Finds Clayton racing back left to right. Clayton a lob to the doorstep. Thomas, glass and good. Kobe's got 13. 42-38. North Carolina Central by four. Four minutes plus gone by here in the second half. Perkins, uncontested, walked the ball to the forecourt. Now Blunt, top side left, goes left of the lane, spins back to his right. Medley Bacon with a clean block, but I think Kobe got him on the way up. They're calling Medley Bacon for the foul. His second brings us to a timeout. 15-41 to go, second half. North Carolina Central leads comp at 42-38 on the MEAC Digital Network. Well, let's get another look at it, shall we? Here's the drive, and they call a foul on Medley Bacon. I, I'm sorry, I'm just not seeing it. First of two on the way, front of the rim, no good. Keep it 42-38. North Carolina Central with the lead on Coppin States. Second free throw, back of the rim, no good. Tapped out, that was deflected. Last touch by North Carolina Central. Robinson on the inbound. Now for Ibn Williams. Now to the forecourt defended by Perkins. Right side Clayton. Now to Williams. On the bounce for Thomas at the right elbow. Thomas going to his left and he got reached upon I believe by Perkins. His first. Each team with a personal here in the second half. 15-23 to go. 42-38 North Carolina Central. Clayton on the inbound looking. Bounce it into Robinson. Left corner. Three ball attempt. And they say he was out of bounds. He stepped out along the sideline. Perkins with the handle, now to the forecourt. Top side right to Blunt, now to Watley. Head of the key, a three is on the way, rim it off. Out of the hand to Graves. Coppin still down four, Clayton with it, near side right to Robinson. Back to Clayton, head of the key. Coming right to the Medley Bacon screen, got to the free throw line, steps left to the lane, drew some contact from Watley, threw it up to the rim, no good. Rebound to Fennell. Quick outlet out of Perkins. Perkins head of the key. Turns it left of the lane. Going strong to the racket. Scores. Perkins now with six. That's the lead. 44-38 North Carolina Central. Ibn Williams between the rings. Your side right to Clayton. 
Headley key now to Williams. Far side left. Thomas wants a three. Back of the rim. No, Medley Bacon. And we're going the other way. I think Medley Bacon was over the back. It's his third. Top side left. Graves around the horn. Fennell wants a three. Rim it off. Medley Bacon knocked it free away from Watley. And in transition, Ibn Williams is fouled. Graves with the foul, his first. Fennell checks out. Devin Palmer's back with 14 points in the opening half, including four threes. 44-38, North Carolina Central, six minutes into the second half. Clayton trying to turn right. Kicks it out to James. James in the right corner in the double team. Lost the handle out of bounds. Perkins with it now. Walks it back right to left. Now between the rings on the bounce, going right. James had Palmer all wrapped up. Baseline inbound with 20 to shoot. Palmer on the lob. A pull-up goes rimming off out of the hand of Perkins. Rebound to Watley. Now between the rings, Palmer. Top side left to Perkins. Perkins with 10 to shoot. Back out of the key to Blunt. Blunt launches the three. It's on the way, rimming off. Offensive rebound to Palmer. Steps left to the lane. Glass, no good. Loose ball picked up by Perkins. Kicks it out right side to Palmer. Extra pass to the right corner. Graves wants a three, and it's good. Give him six. And the margin is down nine at 47-39. Excuse me, 47-38. North Carolina Central. They've been Williams with an answer three. Rimming off. Thomas knocks it free. He ends up on the floor. Racing back the other way. Graves zips it near side left. Perkins shovels it off to Watley. He's fouled by James. It's Reggie second. Here comes Medley Bacon back to the scorer's table. Line left. It is on the way and good. Watley now with six. Makes it 48-38, North Carolina Central. Second one, rim it off. Rebound, Medley Bacon. Ten-point gap with 12 and a half to go. Williams in between the rings. Got to the free throw line, floats it up, glass and good. Abens got nine, 48-40, North Carolina Central. And again, the Eagles taking time, coming across the time stripe. Far side right, Palmer on the catch. Finds Perkins, Perkins picks it up after a dribble. Near side left on the skip to Watley. He wants a three and it's good. He's got nine. 51-40, North Carolina Central. Ibn Williams nearly lost the handle. Now to the forecourt. Far side left to Clayton. Clayton top side left. Lob it for Medley Bacon. Catches left of the window and turned it over. Here comes Perkins on the run out, going strong to the glass, and he scores. Give him eight. 53-40, North Carolina Central. Williams, center of the floor to James. Now to Clayton. 
Right corner kick to Robinson. Robinson back top side of the right to Clayton. Left to the Medley Bacon screen. Split the double team. Line to the lane. Kick it out. Robinson out of the right corner for three. Rim halfway down and out. Rebound to Blunt. Up the floor and out of Perkins. Perkins gave it up to a driving Graves. He turned it over. Clayton to James. James to the rack. Fights it up. Count out the foul. James will have a free throw attempt when we come back. It's now North Carolina Central 53, Coppet State 42. Back after this timeout on the MEAC Digital Network. Oh, timeout. Is it? Bossy. Yup. 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 Out of the media timeout, 10.50 to go, 53-42, North Carolina Central. Reggie James, an and one free throw attempt, line to the right. It's good. 53-43, Central with the lead. Perkins, out of the floor court. Laybourne's back out of the timeout. Blunt had it stolen away by James. Measures the rim. Goes in strong with a right-hand finish. James now with five. 53-45, North Carolina Central. Here comes Perkins. Head of the key. Turns left. Little duck and move on... DeJuan Clayton, who picks up the foul. That's his first. That comes at 10-11 to go. Fifth comp and team foul in the second half. Central with three. Back of the rim, no, and the Perkins attempt. He'll have another. Maybe Williams checks out. Kobe Thomas is back. Perkins trying to split a pair. Makes it 54-45. And a timeout taken. I believe by North Carolina Central as Perkins just split a pair to give him nine. Central goes across town to Morgan on Monday night before heading to North Carolina A&T a week from Monday. Coppin will next host Maryland Eastern Shore on Monday. Then a week from today at South Carolina State. And a week from Monday at Norfolk State. Last home game of the regular season. It's February 22nd against Delaware State. So two weeks from today. Inbound to Clayton with Coppin. Down by nine. Halfway through the second half. James defended by Graves. Now to the forecourt. Top side of the right. Now to Clayton. Clayton swings it near side of the right. James out of the corner. Now for Clayton. Now for Medley Bacon. Far side left to Robinson. Now to Medley Bacon. Hands it back to Robinson. Head of the key. Three is on the way. Rim no, but a whistle on a foul. Perkins with his seconds. So now Andrew Robinson lined to the right. 
three free throws forthcoming. He'll try to pull Coppin within six with 9.42 to go. First of three is on the way. Good. Makes it 54-46. Robinson now with 10 points in this game. Second of three is good. 54-47. And the third attempt is on the way. It's good. Andrew Robinson now with 12. Coppin down by six at 54-48. Closing in on nine and a half to go. Perkins again very deliberate. Now on the bounce to Blunt. Right elbow extended. Looking. Finds Graves on the right side. Near side left. Comes back to Perkins. Bounce it down to the doorstep. Claiborne going to work. Back to Perkins with seven to shoot. He traveled. Thomas from the sideline to inbound. Lob it into Clayton. DeWan on the march. Left to right. Defended by Perkins. Medley Bacon sets the screen, top side left. Clayton goes back door right to James. He'll back it out to the corner. Tried to feed it back door for Thomas, cutting baseline left to right. It was deflected out by North Carolina Central. Twelve to shoot. Clayton from the baseline to inbound. James between the rings on the catch. Clayton comes out and gets it. Seven to shoot. Medley Bacon sets the screen. Clayton head of the key. Right side Robinson. A step left three is wide left. Blunt the loose ball. Now for Perkins. Runs it strong on Medley Bacon. Medley Bacon the block. James coming back the other way. Now to Clayton. Clayton in transition. Now head of the key. Right side to James. Bounce it back to Clayton. Now to Medley Bacon at the free throw line. He walked. I thought he did it the first time on the catch. He never did have his feet under him. So that turnover gives it right back to Perkins. He'll bring it right to left as we approach 8.20 to go. 54-48. Central with the lead. Kick out left corner now to Graves. Back to Perkins. Perkins runs it in the lane. Kicks it out right corner now for Palmer. Goes baseline right. Shovels it off inside. Claiborne left it short. Running left of the lane. Got his own miss back. Fights it up again. Medley Bacon tried to block it. It came loose to Palmer. He scores and he's fouled. Palmer now is 16. The foul on James. That's his third. Makes it 56-48 North Carolina Central. Exactly eight minutes to go. We have a timeout on the floor. North Carolina Central leads Coppin State 56-48 here on the MEAC Digital Network. You depend on someone who does. Help us connect Hampton Roads. On the media timeout, Palmer with an and one free throw attempt. 
with North Carolina Central in front, 56-48. And one free throw is good. Palmer now is 17. 57, 48, Central. Ibn Williams with the handle. Now to the forecourt. As Robinson to his left, Clayton to his right. Clayton on his catch. Now Williams, Robinson far side left. Now back to Williams. Now for Thomas, turning left of the lane, comes back to his right hand, left it short, Medley Bacon with it with six to shoot. Pivots back to his right, trying to fight it up in traffic, he's fouled. Watley picks up his third with 7.33 to go. So Medley Bacon's been held at two points in this game, he'll step in line to the right. Down by nine. First one, rimming off. Medley Bacon with a second attempt, forthcoming. It's good. Big fellas got three, 57. 49, Central. 7.25 to go. Perkins with the handle. Now hands it off to Graves. Near side left. A tough catch for Palmer. Palmer on the bounce. Going right at the screen from Watley. Got to the doorstep and scores. Palmer with 19. 59-49 Central. Seven minutes to go. Williams high left. Andrew Robinson. Now to Clayton, head of the key. Thomas zips it right side. Williams for three. Rim it off. Weak side rebound, Medley Bacon. Trying to power it up through Blunt. A reach-in foul on Watley. I believe that's his fourth. It is. He'll legs it with nine points. Claiborne instantly replaces him. Claiborne, another Cleveland State transfer out of Dayton, Ohio, a 6'6 redshirt junior. Clayton defended by Palmer. Robinson on the catch, top side right. Now to Clayton, reversing off far side left to Williams. Now to Robinson, finds Thomas at the free throw line. Kick it out left side, Williams wants a three, rim it off. Rebound to Blunt. Now to the forecourt. Hands it back to Perkins. Perkins running the jump circle. They're real content right now. North Carolina Central to take all the time off this shot clock with the lead at 59-49. Blunt near side left. Now for Perkins. He hands it off to Claiborne. He traveled. Ibn Williams now for Dewan Clayton. Clayton out of the forecourt, hands it off. Kobe Thomas thought about a turnaround, runs it left of the lane. Glass rim, no. Medley Bacon hit it, and it goes on the rim and falls in. Give him five. 59-51, North Carolina Central. 5.50 to go, timeout Central. We'll take it with him. With the Eagles up by eight with 5.50 to go, we're back after this 60-second timeout on the oh. MEAC Digital Network.
Out of the timeout, 5.50 to go. North Carolina Central with a 59-51 lead here at Coppin. Perkins on the bounce, approaching head of the key. Now for Blunt. Takes it left of the lane, trying to spin back to his right, got cut off. Perkins. Now to Palmer, seven to shoot. Back to Blunt, runs it right of the lane, right hand hook, and it's good. He's got 16. 61 51, North Carolina Central. Ibn Williams out of the forecourt to Robinson. Back to Williams. Now for Thomas. Runs it right of the lane, zipped it into traffic. Clayton somehow comes up with a loose ball. Now for Ibn Williams. He wants a three head of the key. Rim it off. Medley Bacon, an offensive follow, and he rams it home with the right hand. He's got seven. 61 53. North Carolina Central under five to go. Perkins now between the rings. This has been the tempo the entire second half. Central in that half-court offense. Right side Palmer shoveled it in traffic, turned it over. Robinson now with the loose ball, hands it off to Clayton. Clayton out of the forecourt, hands it off to Robinson in the jump circle. Now back to Clayton, four and a half to go. Left side, Williams. Bounce it back to Clayton, head of the key. Now for Robinson, right elbow. Facing up, pivoting back, and now backs it out. 12 to shoot. High left, Ibn Williams. Williams turning to his right. Lost the handle, got it back, turns right, shovels it to Thomas. Lift the rim, nobody tips it home. Kobe's got 15. 61-55 Central. Closing in on four minutes to go. Perkins now calls the play in a jump circle. The defense chant goes up here at the PEC. Far side right on the catch. It is Blunt. Near side left. Rim and good for Palmer. That's way too easy. Give him 21. 63-55 North Carolina Central. 3.35 to go. Williams nearly lost the handle. He did. Graves up the right side of the floor now for Perkins. Again, he'll back it out and slow everything down. Perkins between the rings, 15 to shoot. Steps it left. Takes it right of the lane, hands it off to Claiborne. Right side step in, left of the rim, no. Ibn Williams the rebound. He'll run it back left to right as we approach three minutes to go. Coppin down by eight. Williams, a kick out right corner. Clayton wants a three. It's on the way. Good. Jawan Clayton now with 10. 63-58. Coppin within five. With three minutes to go. We'll step out for a 30-second timeout here on the MIAC Digital Network. Three minutes to go in regulation. 63-58, North Carolina Central with the lead. Last cop and lead was 21-20 of the opening half. Central reclaimed the lead at 23-21. They have not trailed since. Over the top, Blunt on the catch. Spins left to right, a fadeaway, and I believe Medley Bacon got him on the body. His fourth. That brings us down to 2.52 to go. Blunt free throw line left. First one's on the way. It's good. 64-58. With a second free throw coming. It's good. 
Lunt now with 18. 65-58, 2.50 to go. Williams the handle, now to the jump circle. Now for Thomas at the elbow. Steps it left of the lane. Now for Clayton, far side left corner. Now bounce it off Ibn Williams. Bounce it off weak side left. Kobe Thomas with an emphatic two-hand finish. He's got 17. 65-60 Central. 2.20 to go. Coppin needs a stop. Perkins now to the forecourt. High right lob to Blunt. 10 to shoot. He puts his back to the basket. Near side left to Perkins behind the arc. 5 to shoot. Comes back to his right. Kick out left side. A clean look at a 3. Back of the rim. No. Out of the hand of Graves. Weak side rebound. Even Williams. He'll run it to the forecourt. Hands it off right side. Clayton. Now back to Williams. Thought about a 3. Back to Clayton. Lob it off to Thomas. Lob it for Medley Bacon. Oh, man. He got upended in the lane and landed square on his back. They tried to throw him a lob. He got tangled up and landed flat on his back. Yeah, he got tangled up with Palmer. And really, Palmer didn't even move. The officials have come over to the table to take a look on video replay with 1.48 to go. And Central up by five at 65-60. Yeah, there was no, nothing extracurricular going on there. Palmer with his first personal foul. They just wanted to double check that. So it's just a personal foul. Central... And Coppin now each with seven team fouls in the second half. Medley Bacon a chance to gather himself. Here comes Watley back on. He's going to replace Fennell for Central. Coppin down by five, 148 to go. Medley Bacon with a one and bonus opportunity. Rim it off, and the rebound comes down to Blunt. Hands it off to Perkins. 100 seconds remaining at 65 60 Central. Perkins defended by Thomas. 13 to shoot. Comes left of the Watley screen. Bounce it down to the doorstep. Last touched by Perkins. Clayton rotated through the lane defensively, but he never touched it. 88 seconds to go. Thomas to Clayton. Around the Medley Bacon screen. Pick and roll to Medley Bacon. Backdoor feed to Williams. Head fake and a shot fake in the lane. Gave it back to Clayton. Out of Williams. Head of the key. Clean look at a three. It's on the way. Right of the rim. No good. Knocked free by Palmer, and he lasted out of bounds. One oh eight to go. Coppin down by five. Twenty to shoot. Clayton inbound. He looks, looks. Robinson top side left on the catch. Looks at Medley Bacon now for Williams. 15 to shoot. Under a minute to go. Ibn, hesitation dribble, left of the lane, into the trees. Hands it off to Thomas, back to Medley Bacon, a power bounce to his left, left it short. Rebound to Blunt, ahead to Palmer, gave it back to Perkins, now to the forecourt, he's fouled by Andrew Robinson, that's his first. My oh my. The one and bonus free throw missed by Medley Bacon and the doorstep attempt. Coppin could not get it to drop. 46.2 to go and Perkins goes line left.
front end of a one-end bonus is good. Perkins now in double figures with 10. 66-60. Watley checks out with the four fouls, nine points. Fennell's back. Two points, two fouls. Second Perkins free throw, good. He's got 11. 67-60 Central. Clayton to the forecourt. Far side left around the Robinson screen. Wants a three. Rim halfway down and out. And the rebound comes down to Palmer. He's fouled. Kobe Thomas the foul. That's his first. 35.1 to go. Front end, rim it off, tapped off the glass. And Clayton saves it into Medley Bacon. Now to Williams, 30 seconds to go. Him into the forecourt, runs it right. He got fouled. Bumped off with 27.1 to go. He's got two free throws coming. Graves with his second. Down 67-60. Williams steps in line to the right. First, excuse me, first one's good. Hibbins got 10, 67-61, central. Fennell checks out, Watley is back. James the scorer's table. Second Ibn free throw attempt, rim it off. Robinson with a fadeaway, it's good. Robinson's got 14, 67, 63. Central by four, 24.5 to go. Obvious foul situation if you can't get the steal. If you're Coppin State, if you are North Carolina Central, you are potentially looking for the long pass into the forecourt. Take some time off this 24 and a half remaining. So Coach Moten is going through his inbound defense play. Coach Dixon trying to get that quick steal. Interesting to note where they put Watley on the floor on this inbound attempt. In the forecourt, he and Blunt will be a step in the forecourt. Excuse me, in the backcourt. Now they run toward the ball. Inbounder is Palmer over the top feet as I predicted. Blunt to the doorstep. He got fouled by James on the way up. That's Reggie's fourth. Pretty much a go route up the right side of the floor. Blunt put his hand up and said, throw it to me. Basically ran three quarters the length of the floor. Got fouled on the way up. Free throw hit the front of the rim, no good. Coppins over the limit of 10 team fouls here in the second half. 21.8 to go. It remains a four-point North Carolina Central lead. Second one, good. Blunt now with 19, 68, 63, Central. Coppin does not necessarily need a three. They need a sure two. James to the forecourt. Hits a trailing Thomas. Takes a bounce, wants the three wide to the right. Robinson tried to save it in. It's out of bounds. 
13.9 to go. Again, Palmer to inbound. He hits Blunt in the backcourt. He'll hang on, pivot into a double team, poked away, got it back. Blunt runs in the lane, and he got tied up. The arrow gives it back to Coppin, down by five with 7.6 to go. They've got to come the length of the floor. They need something quick, real quick. Williams to the forecourt, head of the key. Nearly walked, got away a three, glass no good, rebound Blunt, that'll do it. North Carolina Central survives Coppin, 68-63. They've won their fourth consecutive MEAC contest to move to 7-2 in the conference, 11-12 overall. Coppin falls to 7-18 overall, 3-7 in MEAC play, welcoming Maryland Eastern Shore on Monday night. Here to the PEC. Head coach Juan Dixon will be joining me here in mere moments. Court side for a quick conversation post game. Potentially. And that's one that Coppin, I believe Coach Dixon will feel that they allowed to get away. For Coppin off their bench, Ringstaw time didn't tally. James with five for the starters. Medley Bacon with seven, then four in double figures. Williams and Clayton each with ten. Robinson with 14. Kobe Thomas with a team high of 17. For North Carolina Central, Melvin, Claiborne, Nayate saw time didn't tally. Graves with two threes. He'll finish with six. Then for the starters, Fennell with two. Watley with nine. It is Perkins with 11. Blunt with 19, and then Palmer with a game high of 21. And Charles Agamagu will now join me courtside. Charles, we talked about it at the half. You knew Central was going to make a run in that second half. They started hot 7-0 to go up by 9, and Coppin really never recovered. Yeah, man, they, uh, just give me a moment, I'm sorry. And that's one really that Top and Lake get away in the second half. You know, it's starting to get a little bit disappointing you know, because uh, they brought, our guys definitely brought the energy and intensity in the first half. And it seems to be a repeat thing. Uh, in the second half, they, they showed championship pedigree. That, that's the best way I can attest it. Uh, they showed the reason why they're the three time champs. And uh, we didn't match their intensity. I remember I told you at halftime, we needed to match their intensity, all right, because. I've won conference championships. I've been to NCAA tournaments. I know what it takes. But right? when you're losing a game that, in their mind, they shouldn't lose, right? They're going to come back with a different type of verve, a different type of fire. And we didn't match that. We didn't. I, it was 7 0 to start the first half. We took a, a timeout. Um, one more thing I will add is Coach John had a great game plan. Um, we had guys, we had the right guys shoot the ball, but we didn't complete the play. You know, when you're having the right shooting guys, like we like to call them guys that struggle to, to make jump shots, when you have those guys shooting the basketball, and if they miss, you have to secure the rebound. And we really struggled on that. I don't. I can just check the numbers on offensive rebound. They had 10, right? They had 36 total rebounds. So that's a huge chunk of the total rebounds. So we didn't. Uh, we didn't finish possessions very well. So now Monday night, quick turnaround. You got to forget about this one yeah, tonight. Absolutely. Get back to work tomorrow. Monday yeah. night, Maryland Eastern Shore comes in. What's your expectations from the Hawks? They're gonna fight. Right, new staff, um, still trying to prove themselves. Um, a few returning players. They play hard. They play hard. I remember our last game there, uh, we battled. Right, we fought really hard. Um, they run a lot of good action. Uh, uh, Hawk staggers. We got to work our high stay highs. Um, they work some, some floppy. You know, at, at the end of the day, it's ultimately understanding personnel. Right, There's a few times where the one might have closed out to 12 a little bit too closely. A few times where Drew... I was a little bit too close on 24. You know, all guys in personnel, we said, give them the cushion. Right? They're, they're looking to drive the basketball. If they shoot, we live it. There's a few guys in UMES who have similar games, right? Prefer to drive than shoot. Just have to execute game plan. At the end of the day, got to put together 40. I think we've done a really good job this season putting together 20 minute halves. Excuse me, a 20 minute half. Got to put, put two together. Got to put two together. That's our biggest issue. 
is building on prior successes. Um, Brendan Bentley Bacon, great defensive showing, seven blocks, uh, 15 rebounds. But I, I told him maybe a month ago, we win when you get double doubles. Uh, we, we need your offensive output because you're more than capable. Now I'm not telling you to force anything, but we need a little bit more from him. Um, and that's not that's not knocking the young man. I just know he can bring more, right? He can give more. He can give more than seven points. We, we've seen him do it. Um, you know, we have one, two, three, four, four guys in double digits. It has to be enough. You got to get stops, right? That's without Millie Bacon. You got to get stops, right? And it, not just getting stops. You have to complete possessions, right? To completion, and we haven't done a great job doing that. So that, that, that hurt us. Another opportunity Monday night. Hey, that's the great thing about about basketball. Uh, in college, you get at least 31 opportunities, right? So we're blessed and fortunate to have another one Monday night. And by God's grace, we seize it. Appreciate the time, Charles. I appreciate you, Thank There you so it is. Much. Charles Agamago here post game after a tough win. 68 63, North Carolina Central knocks off Coppin. Thank you so much for watching and listening tonight on the MEAC Digital Network.
against Savannah's Vesta MTS Belgrade. It's Alexi Schwed against Lorenzo Brown.